Yo, what's going on guys? Call to Mush back at it with another video and in this video I want to quickly cover two news topics. The first one is a little dated at this point. I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably heard about it. Ark Survival Evolved and all the controversy that's been going on with that game. For those of you not in the know about what's been going on, if you've realized, Steam's been doing this year-end game awards thing. There's some very odd awards being given out and one of them was I believe the best use of a farm animal award and essentially what the developers of Ark Survival Evolved did was that they asked for votes for the best use of a farm animal when there wasn't any farm animal in Ark, and pretty much what they said was, if we win this award, we'll add farm animals. So essentially asking for an award for content that isn't in the game, but if they win that award, they'll add that content. So this caused a lot of controversy, a lot of people were crapping all over them, rightfully so. That's just an absolutely ridiculous thing to try to do. Now they've retracted that post, and now they're just saying we're gonna add that content anyway, but to me, that just seems like obvious damage control. Ark Survival Evolved is already a game with a ton of controversy behind it. It's been in early access forever. The game runs like crap. They released DLC for an early access game. Just absolutely ridiculous stuff going on with that game. And to do this, you've already got a bad name in the PC gaming world. This is just going to give you an even worse name. And doing this damage control doesn't help much. People see right through it. And yeah, I don't think Ark Survival Evolved is going to be everyone's favorite PC game. Ark Survival Evolved probably won't even win the best use of a farm animal. Just absolutely ridiculous ridiculous stuff. It's honestly a little funny at how ridiculous a developer could be. Like, can you imagine that? Asking for an award for something that's not even present in your game. Like, it's just mind-numbingly stupid to me, but then again, Ark Survival Evolved, there's a lot of mind-numbingly stupid things going on with that game, so I shouldn't be that surprised, but I am. Also, some exciting news regarding Windows 10 and its gaming evolution. Obviously, Windows 10 has been adding a lot of games. It's focusing more on gaming, and that's been present with all of those Xbox One games coming over to PC and Windows 10. It's definitely not been a completely smooth road. You had games like Forza Horizon 3 not perform up to par, Quantum Break not perform up to par, but then you did have excellent experiences such as Gears of War 4 that ran really, really well. So it's been a bit of a mixed bag. Hopefully that gets better and Microsoft is bringing a new game mode that's going to allow for an enhanced PC gaming experience. This new feature was first spotted by Twitter user Walking Cat, and it's not working yet, but it is going to be showing up for insiders very soon. WindowsCentral.com is saying that this feature works similarly to how Xbox One handles running a game. On the Xbox OS, when a game is launched, it'll allocate resources to make sure that game is running the best it possibly can. Up until this point, Windows hasn't had a built-in option for this that benefits games directly, but with this new update, that'll be changing, and that's very good because, like I said, a lot of the Windows games have not been performing up to par, but this alone is not going to fix performance. For example, if this update was a part of Windows 10 when Quantum Break released, I don't think Quantum Break would be performing much better. That game just at its foundation was a broken mess, but it is something nice to see. And it does show that Microsoft is taking PC gaming and Windows 10 gaming at least somewhat seriously. The fact that they're at least bringing all of their Xbox One games over to PC should say enough, but it is also getting better and better. And hopefully by 2017, every game that releases on the Windows 10 store will just perform really well. That's what I would like to see. Microsoft is a company with a lot of money for them to be releasing shoddy PC ports. That's just unacceptable. And I think they understand that. They can't be that oblivious to that fact, but we'll have to wait and see. I guess this is just something we have to take baby steps with. We know Halo Wars 2 is coming next year to PC. One of my most anticipated games of next year is Scalebound. Now, I really hope that game runs well on PC. Hopefully, we see Halo 6 on PC. The new Crackdown should be pretty good as well. So there's a lot of exciting stuff coming to win. Windows 10. Let's just hope these games perform well because if they do, the PC looks to have a stacked lineup of games next year because not only are we getting a lot of the PlayStation 4 exclusives like Nier Automata, now when you throw in the Xbox One games as long as everything runs well, the PC is going to have a killer gaming library going into 2017 as long as everything runs well. That's always my main concern. Just get your games to run well and people will end up buying them. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about all of this art? survival evolved controversy what games on windows 10 if any are you the most excited for are you still opposed to buying games on the windows 10 store let me know in the comment section down below as always thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out